Dubai world is meeting today with its seven biggest creditors. This is the state-owned conglomerate that stopped paying interest last year, triggering a debt crisis in the Persian Gulf Emirate. Lara Satrakian of ABC News has the very latest for us from Dubai. So, Lara, what is the very latest news? Well, dear to their meeting after months of talks to renegotiate $26 billion in debt, loans borrowed during the buildup of Dubai's construction sector over the past decade. Now, most of that money is owed to major European and Middle East banks like Emirates NBD, Lloyds, Royal Bank of Scotland, Standard Chartered. These are all banks that have extensive operations in this region. And that could mean that they go easy on Dubai World because if they don't, if they don't reach a deal, Dubai World could be led into bankruptcy and that would potentially sour the bank's regional business interests. Uh, now, we have heard that there, the deal would offer these banks full or near full repayment, uh, partially uh, because they would extend that timeline out up to nine years. The bank could also get a slice of profits from marquee assets like Barney's and Cirque du Soleil. We have seen uh, these talks give some sort of bounce to these markets. Uh, regional indexes have climbed over the past few weeks in anticipation of a deal. Yesterday, Dubai's own index was up on a two-month high uh, after still recovering from that dip later last year. Deirdre? I want to ask you too, Lara, of course everybody knows about these uh, man-made islands. What is the very latest, the ones in the shape of the world map? I mean, where do these stand now? That's right. That really is the marquee mega project of Nikhil, the real estate developer uh, that belongs to Dubai World. We spoke to some of the developers this week. Out of more than 250 islands, only three of them are under construction. Uh, there's a sign that the global economy and what's happened in the city have taken a serious toll on the ambitions of that project and of the city at large. Deirdre? Lara, thanks so much. ABC's Lara Sotrakia.